Hello guys, the journey has started. Let's see what happened in the first week of the team. Let's check the finances. Here you see the update. Today is Monday, so the update just happened. You see that our wages reduced. This is because I sold some players last week. I showed them, I will show them to you later. And our maintenance increased due to the constructions we made last week. Okay. Here you can see that now we receive some money from the merchandise store. Last week we didn't receive, if you remember. Here you see some amount, but this is due to the merchandise stand. This money we receive after each home match. This is the money we receive on Monday, okay? Or after the economy update. Let's check the stadium to see what we can do there now. You see that the previous constructions are done. For example, merchandise stand, see? It's ready to be upgraded again. Then let's upgrade all the money-making facilities to level 2. All the 5. We also need to upgrade our stadium. As you remember, we should have set it to 11,000 seats, but we couldn't because we didn't have enough money. Now we have more money. But the constructions are not done yet. There are 16 more days to go. Then we have to wait before we make new constructions. Let's check the scouts market. Here you see the scouts we hired last season. Let's see if we have any good one available now. Okay, this one could be good for us. We need the scout for development. And I will also hire this one. We have money for both, yeah. Because he has the yacht stars. As I told you, we have one of like this, but we need three at least to be minimally reliable since we cannot find a 2020 yet. Okay, so let me hire this one. And also this one. This one could be also interesting for her, for us, because we need this skill to define our captain. We need to know a player's leadership, aggression. But unfortunately, I don't have money to buy this one. So later, if he's still available, I can buy him. Okay, for now, just these two. As I told you before, I made some transfers this week. Let's check them. I'll go to the transfer history now. Here you can see them, but let's come here, it's better for us to see. These are the players I sold. Okay, I will just tell you what I did, I will not go into much detail of it. If you want to know more about transfers, I explained it on a video a while ago. This video will be here in the cards now, you can go there and check it out, in case you need to know more how it works. These are the six players we sold. I chose them for some reasons. This two, this guy, this one was bought by this team. All the others were not bought, so they were sold by for agent price. This and this are the two we promoted. I sold all of them for both of them for agent price. And these are the three. First, this one. This is a goalkeeper. We had three goalkeepers. I only need two goalkeepers. And out of the three we had, I considered that this one was the worst. And he was also the oldest, then I, I decided to sell him. The other three players, I sold them because they have uh, recommendation two or less. I'm going to sell all the players who have recommendation two or less. I have more to sell, but since the most I could sell was six, I could not sell all of them. But that's the reason why I sold this one and the other two. Let's check our youths. You see that I... I called my report already, so I have a youth here for this week. His potential is revealed. We cannot trust this because our, our academy is not good yet. Let's just hire him. Since I just hired a development scout, let me check his bloom status. It should be this guy. Yeah, he's starting to bloom. And for the potential, potential, he's 20 years in one month, should be this guy, but we have only one. Now let's see what he says. He says 
I don't think it's right. It seems very inaccurate. But anyway, we needed to have more guys like this to confirm this result. Okay? So that's what we know. We know he is starting to bomb for sure. Okay? Then later when I have more scouts, I can check his potential again. If I don't sell him later, I may just sell him to the agent price before that. As you see, all of the yields we pulled so far were very bad. The two we pulled before and this one. The agent price, for example, is even lower than what we paid to promote them. To promote this guy, I had to pay 200,000. And his agent price is just this. So I'm thinking it may be interesting to increase the Youth Academy level to 1, at least. Because, let me go to the stadium. If we increase it to 1, the maintenance is still not expensive. As I can show you here. It's going to be just 25,000 per month. And the construction is not so much expensive. We should have some money left next week. I will check to make sure. If I see that we have some money left that we could invest here, I will upgrade it to level 1 in the hopes of getting a bit better yields. Maybe at least some yields we can sell with profit for the Asian price. I made some changes in the accounts too, the information of the club that I didn't change before, you may remember. The first uniform you had already, I changed the colors for this one. Okay. You don't put so much effort on it, you just found some colors, I think it would look nice. I changed the details here of the club too, and I changed the stadium background. Okay, these players here I didn't change, they are randomly put there. But as you see, the ones chosen are playing well. This is our striker. Later I will talk about tactics, don't worry. It is actually going to be now. Let's talk about tactics. This is the formation I chose at the first moment and the best players I found for the position. As you see, our team is, is not good. The players are very bad. So this is not a formation that I usually use, but it was the best I could do, in my opinion, to try to get the best of this team. For the goalkeeper position, I consider both of them to be at a similar level. Okay, this one has 14 in both primary skills, handling and reflexes, while this one has 17 handling, but his reflexes is too low. His jumping is also only 7, while this guy has 16. So they are similar, but overall I consider this one to be a bit better. That's why I chose him to be my in the first team. Anyway, in, for both goalkeepers, they have very bad one-on-ones, if you check, see? On the other side, our attackers, they have terrible heading. This one has seven, this one has four. Therefore, this was one of the reasons, two of the reasons for me to choose this formation. Because I have more guys in the middle. With this amount of guys in the middle, I should prevent more attacks coming through here exposing our keeper to being in front of the opponent, attacker, then it's less likely that they will use their one one skill. Okay, that's why I put so many plays in the middle. It will happen, but the frequency of this type of finishing should be lower. On the other side, since our attackers have low heading, I don't want them to be receiving crosses to head the ball. That's why I didn't put wingers here in the midfield, not in front. I want them to play through the middle, so they will be more likely to finish with their feet rather than with the head. I had to improvise three players to fit this formation because I didn't have better ones. This guy, he has average skills for a defender. Okay, he's not good, he's bad, but I didn't have better ones. This guy is one of the ones with best passing in the team. That's why I improvise him. He's a defensive midfielder, but I put him as a midfielder, central midfielder. Okay, look, the other midfielders, they have very bad pass. See? That's why I put this guy here. And this one, I could play him as an attacker. He would be better. But if I do that, I would be have minus one bonus in the midfield. I didn't ex explain that to you yet. But let me quickly explain. I'll give more details about everything about tactics in a specific video later. Okay. For now, I'm just showing you what I did. And this bonus in the midfield I'm talking about, I find out coming here to the assistant manager, Tactics 2. I'm not sure if this is a pro feature or not, 
If you don't have pro later, you check. You try to come here and see what happens. My formation is currently like this. So here you can see that I have one point bonus in defending, zero in the midfield and minus one in attacking. That's good. I don't think our team is good, not reliable, so I will focus on defending. If I put this guy here in front as a forward, see we get minus one bonus. Then I can have more trouble in the thing I want to do, which was to control the middle to prevent attackers finishing front of our goalkeeper. Okay, and to close more the midfield to make the life of our opponents harder. That's why I decided to bring this guy back. Even though he's improvised, I hope he can play okay in this position. Good. Let's go back to the tactics page. Then this is the bench. I chose the best players I could find to put here. And in the conditional orders, first is here. The mentality I set to slightly defensive because I want to reduce the number of finishings in the game as I don't think our team is so reliable but I want them to have some chance to score that's why I didn't choose defensive or very defensive slightly defensive should be okay regarding the attacking style I would like to play direct or through balls so that more balls would come to the middle but to do so, I would need fast attackers and midfielders, which we just don't have. See, we are all slow. Okay, and our midfielders also should have high technique, something they don't have. They should have good passing. Okay, so we're not ready to play in one of these styles. Then I decided to let it balanced. Then the players will just try to score the way they find convenient at the moment. And since they have different strengths and weaknesses, I think balance is the best option. For the focus side, I, I thought about playing central as I want the game to go to the middle or attackers to finish with the foot and to make it harder to get in front of our goalkeeper. Central could be a good choice. But I was afraid that by choosing central here, I would make this guy and this guy out of the game too much. And they are good players for our team standards. If you check this one, for example, he, he has good positioning, some crossing, some technique. This other guy here, he has high long shots, good crossing. So I think they can cause some harm. If I put it into play through the center, I was afraid they would be, they would be out of the game too much. That's why I prefer to, to leave it balanced. Then these guys will play. I hope they don't go all the way to the ending line to cross, hoping that these two guys will have because they don't know how to do it much. But maybe they will come here and go to the middle. But I believe they will participate in the game more if I don't choose central here. Okay? I may be wrong, but this is what I thought at the first moment. Then we have here the conditional orders that I set. First, at the minute 60, I didn't explain it to you yet. I'm going to make a video specifically about it. But at the minute 60, the stamina of the players start to affect the skills. They lose skills, they, their skills decrease after each minute, according to the, the stamina they have. Our goalkeeper is already very bad and he has 7 of his stamina. Then at the minute 60, to decrease our chances to concede goals, I decided to change and I put this goalkeeper, which I think is more or less the same level of the other one. And he will enter, start the game with full energy at 60, okay? This is the reason for this substitution. This one at 70, I will replace both at the same thing. I replace this guy with this guy. Why? Because this one, his stamina is not so bad compared to the rest of the team. But he's going to be tired by then, by 70. And the opponent defense will also be tired. He's probably not going to change his players. And then by putting an attacker, which is not so good, but it's going to come to the game with full energy. He has high chances of causing some, some harm, you know? So I put him after 70, maybe he can score. He can help the team to win, maybe. If the game is draw or we are winning, I simply replace this guy with this one without changing the position. But if our team is losing by at least 1-0, then I take this guy out and I put this one as an attacker to make our team more offensive in the hopes of scoring the goal to get the game tied again. Okay? The next ones, 
in case we have a player sent off. This player and this player will be changed. If any of the players in the match are sent off, I take this one, tell him to come here to the middle, and this one to come here to the defense. This one will be improvised, because he doesn't play as a center midfielder, and this one will be not improvised, he can play as a center defender. It is not the best situation, but understand, we have a, we are a player down, a player, someone has just sent off, so I try to make the best I could by closing more the middle and hoping not to concede any goals until the end of the match. Okay, so these two are this. This guy goes to the middle, this one goes to the defense. Okay, in case any player is sent off. In case this player is sent off, he cannot go to the middle for obvious reasons. So I have to put someone there. Then I sack this guy, an attacker, to put this guy in the middle. Okay, this is what this conditional order is saying. The same with this one. If he is sent off, he cannot come here. Then I sack this guy and I put this one here in the middle. Okay, this one. In case one of the defenders are sent off, the same. I take this guy out and I put this one to replace them. Okay, the rest, the other two, will occur normally. Then I have two further changes to be applied in case we need to turn the game around. At 60, if we are losing, I tell this guy to go to play as a forward. Then we can have more chances of goals. Okay. And this other guy, as you remember, at 70, this guy is going to be out and this one will enter. But it's possible that at 70 he enters, but the game is tight. Then at 75 we consider goal, for example. Then, as soon as it happens, if we consider goal, this guy who entered, he will be playing as a forward, not as an offensive midfielder anymore. Understand? These tactics can be a bit confusing. If you have questions, write in the comments and I can clarify. Finally, I have these things here, captain, corner, penalty kick, and free kick. As I told you, we don't have a scout who's able to tell us who will be the best captain. So I just choose this guy, because he's the one who's playing best, best. he's getting the best rating, so I just put him as a captain. Later, when we have a scout for psychological skills, I will proper choose the best captain. For this one, the other ones, I analyze this, their skills, I put this guy as a corner kick taker, because he has 14 cross and 10 set pieces. It's very bad, but it's the best we can find at the moment. This guy, to score the penalties, as he has 14 finishing, he has just 5 set pieces. This is not good, but I gave a try with this. In fact, you see in one of the matches later that he missed a penalty already, but I'll give him one more chance. If he misses again, I may change and put other one to be the penalty taker. And for free kick, I chose this guy because he has 18 long shots. Even though he has four set pieces, he has 18 long shots too. For now, I chose him. I may change later. You see that he has 16 crossing, which is better than this guy, who has only 14. But while this guy has 10 in set pieces, the other one has only four. Considering both skills, I decided that this one would be better. Okay, but I can change later. As you can see, we have a player suspended. This one, our defender, he he was sent off in, one, in, the set, in our second match. He didn't play the previous match already, and I cannot count on him for the next match, so I have to fix. To fix this, I will bring this guy, this other defender. He is very bad, I know, but that's what we have. I will put, wait, I will put this guy to, to play here, because I don't need to improvise him, I put him here. And this other guy, I will put him in the middle, okay? And this one will go to the bench. Okay. Then I should correct the conditional orders. This one that okay. This one's now who goes to the middle with the guy who I just put. Yeah, okay here. Then in case this guy is sent off, I just correct. This one will go out and this one comes in as a defensive midfielder and this one now is going to be this one because I changed them so this one is going to be out and this one goes as a defender and in case one of the defenders are sent off this one is the same this one changed I have to change the substitution here too I'm doing things kind of fast but I think you can follow 
it's simple to understand, right? If you have questions, just write in the comments. Yeah, I think it's all right. Yes. And this one, the next two didn't change, okay? Now I'm ready for my next match. Let's check some match results now. You can come here to the club and two fixtures. I have to admit that I'm very surprised with our results. Okay, these are two friendlies I played at the beginning, but they were not very meaningful, I'll tell you why. And here we have these three matches, three league matches. See, we won all of them. I was totally not expecting results like that. I thought we would lose badly, but yeah, the team played well. Let's see what we can find in the games. I have the matches open on a new tab already here. Okay, this is our first um, friendly. I just came here to quick matches and play two, friend, two friendlies to test our strategy. I had free tickets, so I just used them. Why do I say they were not good, meaningful results? Because, see, we lost, but they matched us with a much stronger opponent. Like, this is our average R5, and this is the average R5 of the opponent. So, it's too much stronger. Okay? Then, it's not meaningful to us. This information I can only see because I have an, a, script, a script activated in this page. In case you want to know more about scripts, you can check a video I made a while ago, which is here in the cards for you. And I tell a lot of information about scripts, where you can get them and how they work. Okay. We had another friendly, which was this one. And once more, we were matched with a much stronger opponent. I was not expecting for that. I thought they would match us with a similar opponent. Yeah, then these friendlies were very disappointed. Even though we didn't play so badly against the stronger opponents. But when you come to the league matches, then yes, then we had some meaningful results and good ones. This was our first match. Okay, you can see here that our team has a higher average TI, is stronger. And the opponent decided to make this, let's say, funny formation. I don't know why. It's a B team. So maybe the manager just wanted to give routine to his players and he wanted to have some fun with the formation. Yeah, he did that. So we cannot be so proud of the result. We won 4-0, but we were the stronger team and the formation of the opponent was completely messed up. Okay, but yeah, three points is what matter. We won. In the second match, we had a stronger team. Okay, it's too weak, weaker than us. But now he has a normal formation, see? On the other hand, his goalkeeper is very bad. This is one of the players you get for free, when you, you don't have a full team. Then he put his goalkeeper, okay? On the other hand, he had some good players. Okay, first let me show you. I told you that our attacker missed the penalty. So you saw the penalty for us. Then he had the chance to score, but he threw it away, threw it away, okay? On the other hand, he scored the first goal, and you see that he scored three more on the same match. Yeah, he played very well. He scored four goals in this first match. Okay, so yes, even though they have a terrible goalkeeper, they have a good attacker for our standards. I wish I had this guy on my team. He would help a lot. And he has, they have a, a reasonably good midfielder too. Okay. Yeah, but overall our team is better. This is one more goal from our attacker. Here you see that our opponent also had the chance to score from a penalty. Yeah, and in their case, there is their attacker took the chance and they scored the goal. Let's just wait a bit to see the goal. Okay, but anyway, the striker scored twice, our scored four. So overall, he was better. Let me go to the result. One interesting thing that I wanted to show you about this match was here. At 61, we had the player sent off. Then the conditional ward, as I said, worked. This guy came to the middle. And actually, no, it was he was a defender. So, yeah, this guy came to the middle. This one came here. This one left the match. And this one entered. Okay? And you see that after that moment here, we didn't concede any more goals, and in fact, we scored one more. 
So the conditional order worked to hold the result very well. By then, the goalkeepers had also been switched. So we had this goalkeeper with full energy to help us to hold the result. Let's see the last match now. This one. This was our hardest match so far. We had an even opponent, as you can see. Actually, the team is even stronger than us, the other one, okay? He has a proper formation. His goalkeeper is kind of maybe a bit worse than ours, but more or less the same level, okay? And this match was very hard. It was tight, 0-0, until I set a point. But then, let me show you the result. At this moment here, 70. I made that conditional order. Uh, this guy went out and this one went in as a midfielder because the game is tied. And guess what? At 87, this guy scored the winning goal. Receiving a pass from the improvised guy, this one. Okay? So I think I can put this victory on my account. And he was chosen to be the best in the match. The final score was 1-0. Now let's see the average rating of our players after these three first matches. You can come here to club and statistics. Here I can... First I want to see only league matches. And I want to show true rating. Okay, we can see that this is our best player so far. He simply scored six goals in three matches. He has a very high rating. No wonder I left him to be the captain until now. The second, this is our defender who is suspended at the moment. He was playing well in the first two matches. Hopefully, hopefully no. We will be able to count on him in two matches. In the next one, no, but later he comes back. This is the guy who enters replacing this one every match and who scored the winning goal in the last match. Okay, and this one is the worst, as we see. So I will consider for the next matches, maybe I put this guy to play in the first team and this one as a sub, since he's playing much better. And you have the others, but I will not talk specifically about each one. Okay, so far our team is doing well. Let's check our attendances now. The games are still open, so I can just go there. Friendly, friendly, this one. In the, so only the home matches. In the first one, we had this amount of people. You see, almost full house. And in the other one, see, this is the amount of seats we have. This was our attendance. So it's clear that we must increase the stadium more. Okay? I also changed the sponsorship deals. Let me come here to sponsor deals. Okay. I changed, I changed this one before it was set to to stay in the top. I told you before that we should be very humble about this because the team was bad, but it surprised me, so I think I can be a bit more ambitious now. But to explain this, one, I have to open the league page. Here I need to wait until the script loads. Let me go back and explain the others while that. Here I increase the number of goals we can score. I think before I set it to 40, now I put 50. Number of goals considered before it was 60, now I put 50. And the cup I remained, I left the same way it was before. And the sponsor I also didn't change, okay? This one I changed because I'm more optimistic about the team now and because of this. If you check this table here, you can see the average R5 for all the teams in the league. This also comes from a script, by the way. If you want to know more, check the video in the cards about scripts. So this is us. If we check, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 teams which are more or less in our level. We defeat this one, which is stronger than us. Then maybe we can defeat this one too, maybe this one. And some of these teams are weaker than us, like this one. Yeah, just yeah, this one too. So I think it's possible that we stay among the first six in the end. That's why I chose to change the sponsor deal to this. Finally, about the training, I didn't change much because we have we don't have training grounds. Our training grounds are zero, so I don't I do not spend much time on training. Here you see that most of our guys have very low TI. This one has ten because he is blooming. 
okay that's why he has plus 10 he would have much more if we had better training ground then what i did was just to set the training to make all the guys get the best the highest day they could which is with the customized training set like this two two points in each one then i get the most possible of the training okay if you want to know more about training, I made some videos a while ago about it. You can check the one in the card. Okay? And let's see what we get for the next weeks with the team. That's all for this video, guys. If you have questions, write them down below. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. See you soon.